This is a Queen Anne throne canopy and it was made in 1709 for Queen Anne's ambassador to The Hague, Charles II Viking Tausend. And the date is very important itself because it follows the Act of Union in 1707. So the Lion of Scotland is included for the first time into the emblems. A throne canopy um, or a baldacchin, which comes from Italian actually, baldacchino, which is um, a strong symbol of authority. And kings and queens use it from medieval time uh, to receive their subjects in the state apartments. And is usually a made of a very rich textile and has heraldic emblems on top. We commissioned Becky Hogg to replicate two emblems because on the original they are missing. Um, one is the rose and one of the crowns is missing. Um, in the past I've worked on uh, textiles that needed to be conserved, so for instance where the silk has rotted over time and I've replaced the fabric behind, um, keeping the original fabric but supporting the textile. Um, but not specifically recreating a whole embroidery to match. Um, although it's using techniques I still use in my own work, um, I've never actually done a project like this. So it's been really exciting. Each emblem has got a meaning, in fact. Um, we got um, the, the Golden Lion and the Rose of England. We have the Arp of Ireland. We have the Fleur de Lis of France and uh, we have Queen Anne cipher in the middle. A for, stays for Anne and R for Regina. But most importantly, we have the thistle and the red lion of Scotland. So the techniques for both of the emblems are mainly a technique called metal thread embroidery, although there are some just general embroidery stitches um, thrown in as well. Um, so metal thread work um, probably has about three main techniques, um, two of which are highly used in the emblems. Um, the main one being uh, couching, which is where you stitch over a thicker metal thread. Um, and the other is called cut work, which is where you use a tube of metal that you cut to size and then you stitch through it like a bead. The aim of the conservation treatment is to stabilise the condition of the emblems and to preserve as much as the original as we can in order to um, put the throne canopy on open display for at least 50 years. Well, our, our job as conservators is not trying to make the emblems look new but preserve as much as the current state where when you do a replica, you make it as it was new using the original technique, using new ma materials. The process of transferring that onto the material is um, a thing that I use called prick and pounce, which a lot of embroiderers use, um, which is where you trace the design and then make little perforations in a tracing and then you push a powder through, so then you get the translation on the fabric um, and then you can either paint or just draw the little dots together.